It's a pretty common belief among people who are skeptical about the anti-GMO activism front that a great deal many of the people who are trying to sell people chemophobia and fear and precautionary principle somehow have a very large vested interest in it and stand to profit from it. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you one of the worst offenders. This is Rachel Parent. Many scientists say that GMOs are nothing to worry about. I'm not a scientist. But somehow the idea of eating food that contains its own bug killer sounds a bit strange to me. And Rachel Parent is interesting because she's not just a regular anti-GMO activist, she's a young girl. Uh, she started apparently when she was 12 years old. She got an assignment from school uh, to try and write some sort of humanitarian paper, and she decided that she would do it on genetically modified organisms. Yet somehow, at age 14, she becomes the founder of an organization called Kids Right to Know. And as well, she starts going around and giving talks and appearing on television, and even has a TEDx talk where she begins to expound upon her beliefs about genetically modified organisms and the dangers inherently thereof. As well, if you look at her website, Kids Right to Choose, it is chock full of absolutely abhorrently bad information. Most of it is just outright bullshit, just complete bullshit. I am amazed at some of it, especially um, when, when her website is going off about all the problems with golden rice and how it's not it's not going to feed the world as if it was supposed to feed the world or how it's not going to be grown in places that experience a lot of water like i don't know the philippines where they come up with this shit i don't know but i will say that for an excellent excellent rebuttal to her spouting a bunch of pseudoscience bullshit there's this great article by debunking denialism I'm going to put the link in the down there. But here's what's really bothersome about Rachel. It's not really about her. We can forgive somebody who's 14 and obviously doesn't have a lot of education or even really a lot of practical knowledge about this situation to really understand and decompile and then express in an intelligent matter a reasoned argument. We can forgive her for that. But... There's more to it. There's more happening behind Rachel, and that's what's fucked up. She's got a video, and it's from GoFundMe, and it's asking for money. Kids Right to Know is just fighting for our truth, transparency, and our freedom of choice. So let's get GMOs labeled together. This is a huge fight, and unfortunately it comes with huge cost. But I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's been encouraging us and supporting us. Um, it would be really helpful if you could leave maybe a small donation. Um, every little bit counts. And in fact, Rachel continues to rack in money doing this sort of thing as she goes around and tells people a bunch of inaccurate information. But again, I can't really fault her for that very much because we have shitheads like Jeffrey Smith and Vandana Shiva and all these other pseudoscience whack jobs doing this constantly. So what's the problem with this young woman? Am I just picking on her because she's a girl or because she's young? No, I'm not even really picking on her. I do, however, have a problem with Wayne Parent. The parent, parent, of Rachel Parent, Wayne Parent. Wayne Parent is her father. That's the name of her father. His name is Wayne Parent. Wayne Parent is the CEO of Nutrition House, one of the leading organic-minded health food stores in Canada, with over 70 retail stores, mostly in upscale locations like really fancy yuppie malls, and makes over $4 billion annually. So when you have these kind of questions like, well, where did Rachel Parent come from? Well, that's kind of easy. She was perfectly tailored, obviously, by her father to try and put out more of a campaign to scare people away and want to eat more healthy. But this is very common. I mean, other notable Canadians like uh, Aaron Stevens, he's the, the co-founder of Nature's Path, one of the largest organic food producers in Canada. He also launches into copious amounts of anti-GMO rhetoric and campaigning. This is how these people are 
making more money because they're scaring you. And not only are they being so blatant as to be like, well, I own this organic company and I'm going to put my money into this kind of campaign or that kind of campaign. But if you if you start looking behind the scenes in this, they very, very carefully have removed mentions that Wayne Parent has anything to do with Rachel Parent. That kids right to know is separate from Nutrition House. They they do these things because they want to avoid that kind of transparency for a group of people who are fighting to let other people know, worried consumers, scared family members who want to make sure of the health of their children, they're preying upon your desire to know what's in your food, yet they also don't want you to know why they're telling you this. It's not because there are notable studies around the world that show that there's harm, because there aren't. It's not because there's more health risk with GMOs because there's not. And it's not because there's any ecological reason whatsoever to avoid them. This is all propaganda. Wild, wild propaganda paid for by a rich asshole millionaire from Canada sending his daughter out with a fucking script to scare you into buying how it will profit him. That's what this is about. This is so mind-fuckingly obvious and uh, evil. It's evil. It is genuinely evil to deceive people in this way. There are plenty of reasons why somebody might want to argue for GMO labeling. And if it's done sensibly, that's a conversation that I'm willing to have. That's fine. But what I'm not willing to do is just bow to somebody trying to sell me a line of shit. Let's even listen to some of Wayne Parent's words. Rather than waiting until health problems develop and reacting by taking prescription medication, people are being proactive by eating properly, exercising, and supplementing their diets with vitamins and nutritional supplements. But the industry is just not limited to baby boomers, whether male, female, young or old, single or married, ethnic or non-ethnic. Anyone who cares about their health can benefit from natural health products. Currently, 75% of all Canadians use natural health products. Reports have been coming out over the past couple of weeks that, in fact, most of the time in these natural food stores, what is advertised on the supplement that you are supposed to be getting, a lot of times isn't even there. And that's because there's no regulation. There is no transparency. There's no quality assurance, no checking for these things. People like Wayne Parent and other people who push this natural lifestyle health product mumbo jumbo are not even interested in selling you the product that they're advertising you they are literally taking your money and giving you whatever the fuck they want i believe in transparency and i believe in consumer choice and i believe that if given the proper education people will make the choices that they feel are best for them and their family that's great totally great but at the same time 75 percent of all canadians use natural health products it's capitalized they're not even saying a factual statement they're saying natural health products here take this crystal shove it up your ass i'm sure it'll clear your acne right the fuck up so this father-daughter duo are trying to peddle you a bunch of pseudoscience crap and they're doing so by obfuscating their ties and their intentions for every little bit that they think we should be transparent with our food i think they should be transparent with their intentions because i do not believe in a society where we are controlled by fear. And this is what this is. Fear. Nothing more. Hey, this is Jeff's Kid. If you like his videos, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like it. And share with your friends.